In this video, I'm finally landscaping along the Polar Express trolley line, and we're starting right now. Hi, I'm Owen. In these videos, I'm continuing to build, expand, and improve my Lionel Polar Express model train layout in O Gage. In this video, we're concentrating on landscaping around the trolley track and the Polar Express passenger station. I haven't been able to do that landscaping earlier because I was having a problem getting the Polar Express trolley to run consistently. I finally resolved that by, first of all, leveling the track, second, making sure the track was really clean, and finally lubricating the trolley itself. And after that, it's running fine. So I've now put the passenger station next to the trolley line in place, and it's time to do the landscaping. That starts with using foam board, XPS foam board, as a base for the future landscaping. Once I've got the foam board down, then I'll be able to put other materials on it, including plaster and a few other things, in order to make it look like a nice winter landscape along a trolley line. So that's what we're working on right now. Before I get any further though, I want to invite you to subscribe if you haven't already done so, and click the thumbs up down below and like this video. Also, drop a comment and let me know any questions that you have or any suggestions or other ideas that you want to share with me. I especially want to thank all of our new subscribers. Welcome aboard. I'm glad to have you. And to all of the people who've subscribed in the past, I really appreciate your support. Now, let's get on with the landscaping. I've made a start with putting the XPS foam around the side of the supports for the trolley track and the Polar Express passenger station in order to hide those so that they're not sticking out and kind of looking like something that's out of place. I've also started putting the XPS foam near the track itself and if we look closely here I've got another section of XPS foam weighted down after I put the glue on the back in order to hold it in place while that glue sets up. I'm using Woodland Scenics foam tack glue for it. Now once I get done with putting in the foam tack glue and putting down the XPS pieces, then the next thing will be to fill in any cracks or crevices. And I'll use a combination of materials. I'll use Woodland Scenics foam putty, and I'll also use uh, Woodland Scenics flex paste in order to fill in, just depending on where the crack or crevice is, how wide it is, and what I'm going to be doing with it in the future. The foam tack putty sets up fairly quickly, but in order to make sure that everything stays down tight to the surface, it's important to weight it down. And you can use just about anything to weight it down, as you see here, what I've done by using paint cans, drill bits, levels, and uh, in another case here, I've got a uh, 30 foot uh, steel ruler that I'm using, steel measuring tape that I'm using to weight down a piece of it. Once it's set up, it'll hold really securely, but until it sets up enough to be firm in its grip on the foam, it's important to weight it down, otherwise that foam would just kind of bow up. Now I'm going to continue putting the foam in place, and it's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. So I'm going to get on with that, and then we'll come back and see what we have before we start the next section. I've nearly completed putting the foam board in place around the track for the trolley and so that I can landscape it. I've just got a couple of more pieces to fit in, and it's not always easy, but you can see I've pieced together most of them. The next step will be filling in the gaps between pieces and around the edges of things, and then I'll be able to start finishing it off. But once I have that over out of the way, I'll be able to deal with things like painting it and then doing whatever plaster I need to put over it. And I'm still toying with the idea of putting down these brick pavers, uh, these sheets of brick pavers that you see here laying on top of that foam putty container. Uh, putting those down would, in a, at least a few places, would simulate the old time brick pavement that you would have found on streets, along trolley lines and sidewalks and various other places in cities and towns and villages all over the country. So I'm going to be using that. I'm not exactly sure just yet. Uh, 
how I'm going to use it. I also have to think about some kind of a crossing bridge between the passenger station, which is on this side of the trolley line, and the main uh, depot, train depot, which is on the other side, the boarding platform also on the other side. I've got something that I can use as a bridge. I just have to figure out how to put it in place in such a way that there's a stair that can go up to it, a stair that can come down to it, and it looks appropriate for the time. So, got several more things to do here, but eventually we'll get this landscaping project finished. Before we spend more time working on the landscaping along the trolley line, we want to make sure we take time to run the trains. So here we go.
Well, that'll do it for today's video, folks. Please be sure to like this video by clicking the thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and you'll be notified each time I post a new video. And drop a comment down below with any questions or suggestions, ideas that you might want to share with me. As always, thanks for watching.